you like pottering around in creeks and dams, you might just be lucky enough to have found one of these. Where have you gone? Uh, here come. There we are, fascinating creature that lives underwater. And in fact, it's called a water scorpion. That's not right. It's really a needleback, but it's often misidentified as a water scorpion. Well, that's not a terribly good name for it. It does get it because on the end of its tail here, it's got a very, very long, thin projection that looks a bit, to some people, like a scorpion sting. It isn't, and it's completely harmless. We'll see what it's for a bit later. But I can take that out of the water and keep it out for quite a while. Unlike a fish, it's not going to be troubled because it doesn't breathe water. It breathes air. In fact, it breathes it through that long projection there, which is, in fact, a sort of snorkel. It's a very interesting creature. Water scorpion's a bad name for it. Water praying mantis would be a lot better because that's the job it has underwater. It sits there waiting for other insects, and when they come within reach, it uses these two great big front legs, they're legs, not feelers, and it grabs them, pulls them in towards the head, and if I can just get them out of the way, you can have a look at that head. You see on the front of it, there's a sharp spike, and it impales them with that sharp spike and sucks out their juices. That's how it gets its meal. That's probably easy to see if we look at one underwater. You can see that it hangs there with these very long legs in the weed or on the bottom and it just lies in wait with those two great big legs poking out the front ready to snatch anything that passes. And of course eventually it needs a breath and when it does it can rise slowly to the surface, poke the snorkel through and breathe air and that way it keeps way below the surface of the water so birds can't get it at the same time as poking its head downwards so it can get its next meal. And it can get around not only by walking with those legs, but swimming with them as well. Along their back, they've got uh, fairly long hairs, you can just see there. And when it needs to, it can move them very fast, like oars, and swim pretty fast through the water. So it gets along that way too. And there it is, sitting on the bottom, with its enormous eyes looking out for its next meal. Well, it can breathe above water, but it would also dry out above water. So, to avoid it any harm, avoid causing it any harm, I should say, We'll plonk it back in the water where it belongs.